Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I am currently on my way to work. Just wanting to put a little lip gloss on because my lips are like so dry. And I could use a little color look. Oh, one nail popped off. I'm hoping to get a nail appointment today after work. I'm off at 12.45, so I'm gonna text a lady. She like gave me her cell phone number. So I'm gonna try to text her right when they open at nine just to see if she has an available appointment like right after I get off, maybe like one o'clock. Um, also, I made this lip gloss. It's like, am I a motherfucking scientist or what? This is the best consistency ever. It feels so good. I formulated it with like barely any color in it because I'm not one that likes like a super bright, bold lip. Like I just like something a little more natural, but really moisturizing. Um, it's from this brand, Pribbly, Pribbly? I don't know how to pronounce it, but they actually sent me this like DIY lip gloss kit that I thought was the coolest thing in the world. And the other day I was like, mm, I've had this kit for a while, like maybe I should put it in a vlog. And I've got all the vlog footage and then never did anything with it. With the kit you get 10 lip gloss tubes, so I feel like it would be such a fun activity for like a girl's night or something like that, I don't know. I've only made this one and all I can say is that I'm obsessed. So I might even like have my sister and a couple of my friends over one night and we should make our own lip glosses. That'd be kind of fun. I think I said it in that clip, but all of the information for this will be linked below. Not being paid to talk about it. They literally just sent it to me for my review, I guess, so I can have, so I can enjoy. And so far, I am definitely enjoying. So I'm gonna insert that clip right here. So this is what the kit looks like. I will have all of this information linked below, like the website and stuff. Can't remember if they gave me a discount code for you guys, but that'll be down below as well. This is the little color card, gives you all the information you need to know. You get 10 tubes. This one is a glazed kind of a look, so that's probably for matte glosses. And then these ones are like a silky, or not silky, like a glossy tube for the glossy glosses. Comes with a glass, little like shot glass, like measuring cup type of a thing. DIY lip gloss base in crystal clear. And then colors. We have one, two, three, four, five, five colors, plus a white, I'm guessing, to lighten any kind of a shade. Pretty cool. Of course, the stir stick. Okay, so to be honest with you, these directions are like really confusing. I'm gonna be honest, but in my mind, you mix the lip gloss base with whatever color you want. And I'm, I'm sure you can like mix and match the colors. I kind of like this color out of all of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna put some lip gloss base in this little guy. Okay, the lip gloss base is coming out. This is so fun, I feel like a scientist. Definitely far from a scientist, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I feel like that is good enough. So we got the lip gloss base, and I'm gonna do the tiniest amount of this color here. This is color four, in case you guys are interested. I'm gonna do maybe like one pump. It takes a second to come out. Oh my god, I'm so amused right now. Okay, I put in a few little drops. If you guys can see that. And then I'm gonna take this stir stick and stir it all up. Okay, that may have been way too much. And it said to stir it for like two to three minutes. So that is what I'm going to do. It has no scent, which is nice. I would much rather a product have no scent than have like a scent that I just cannot stand. So this is the color that it came out to be. So let me wipe this. I came prepared with my tissue. All right. So I think I probably suck it up with this first. I 
I have no idea what this color is going to look like, if it's going to be really sheer or super pigmented. But like I said, I wanted it to be more on the sheer side, so I may have put too much. Um, if you like more of a really like dark color or like opaque lip gloss with a lot of color, then I would put more of the color. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna get one of my lip gloss tubes. Okay, see, yeah, they didn't put the stopper in there. That's what these are. These little guys go in after you fill it up. Hopefully I made enough, geez. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's not going to the bottom. <laughs> What did I do? Should I have done it at an angle? Okay, so I filled the lip gloss tube and I'm just taking um, a tissue on this little like scooper thingy and just cleaning out just the very inside because I need to add the stopper, which is this little guy right here. So I'm gonna put that in there. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. And then the doe foot applicator. Oh, I may have overfilled it. Did I? No. Okay. It feels really good, like really heavy duty. This is so freaking cool and customizable. Okay, let me scoot a little closer and then we're gonna test it out. Ooh. Ooh, it feels really good. This is the perfect amount of color for me. Yep, no scent. That's my kind of gloss. This is literally beautiful. Like the perfect amount of color for me. I don't even remember how many pumps I did. Maybe a few. I'm actually like really impressed. So I just wanted to run through the colors. So the one I used was color four, which is like right up my alley. And then there is a really pretty red. This is color one. There is a pink. This is color two. This is like a purpley, like maroon color. And then the last one it comes with, come on, is like a deeper. <laughs> like deeper maroon this is more of a purple that first one i showed you color five this one is more of like a true like maroon and this is color three so these are the colors that you have to choose from and like i said you can mix and match you could do a pump of each you could do a pump of like a couple of them like let me see if you wanted the lip gloss that i'm wearing now to not be a full-on pink but just have a little more of a pink tint to it you could do a couple pumps of the one that i used and then like a pump or two of this pink color if you wanted it more on the red side you could add a pump of the red like super super customizable and i am impressed and i really like that they give you 10 tubes so that is nice if you guys are interested in your own diy lip gloss kit i will leave the information to privily down below I'm telling you, so far I am definitely impressed. Super, super moisturizing, which is a plus. Just got into my classroom and I'm about to set up and start prepping. Today we're actually making pancakes and bacon in class. Um, in case you guys don't know, I teach special education and I have the older students, so um, it's all about like life skills, vocational skills, being as independent as possible. So cooking definitely falls into that category. So we have pancake mix out and like I said we're teaching them how to do it on their own we have like a little griddle um, so it should be a fun day I always love peeking to see when my co-workers get here <laughs> I'm so weird but I just love having my like little alone time in here for like five ten minutes I need to start getting here earlier so I have more alone time but it's my time to kind of set up make some coffee heat up my breakfast if necessary Mind you, I'm early, so I'm not like having my breakfast on work time. Um, yeah, so I think, I think I'm gonna start setting up for the day and get all this pancake stuff set out.
students come in, they eat breakfast, and then they work on some sort of personal information sheet. Today it's just like this like generic like sample job application form. And then I always give them a coloring sheet as well. So if they're done with it, they can kind of get creative. Today we're going with Charizard. Fun fact, had two of those metallic, is that what they're called, metallic? Charizard cards that are worth thousands of dollars that my mother put in the garage, I think, and gave away. I am pissed, so pissed. So every chance I get, I'm like, mom, you find my Charizards yet? Cause I could be a thousandaire by now. She's to the point where she is so sick of hearing about Charizard that my sister texted me the other day and she was like, Nicole, mom is just like going through the house saying, I'm so fucking sick of Charizard if I ever hear that name again. It's like, why would you throw my stuff away? I mean, I guess I left it there, yeah. But does that give you the right, mom? Come on. It's one o'clock. It is one o'clock and I have never been so tired in my entire life. Students are gone. They were gone at like 12.30. I've just been sitting here eating my lunch. I had zucchini, sauteed zucchini with like a little bit of garlic salt. And then on top of that, some carnitas that you get from Costco. They are so bomb. So I weighed out four ounces of the carnitas. So it was 200 calories plus whatever the zucchini was, which is close to nothing. It's literally the best freaking meal. It's been one of my, like, one of my go-tos lately. So I had that. I have an appointment at 1.30 to get my nails done. What do we think is going on here? So I didn't want to go home and then have to get back in the car and go get my nails done. So I'm going to leave here in probably seven minutes. I was going to say 10 and I was like, mm, that's pushing it. I was going to say five and I was like, mm, that's too soon. Seven minutes I'm leaving. I think I'm going to look up some nail inspiration. I'm probably just going to do something really basic. This is kind of what my nails look like right now. Last time I got the same thing, I also have that on my thumb. So I do thumb and ring. Um, last time it was an actual daisy with yellow in the middle, but she for some reason wanted to do black. So whatever she says goes, it's like, I might just do something plain because I just want to get in and get out, you know? I'm spending the night at the Sacramento Zoo tonight. Why? Why, you may ask? They had like tickets on sale, I guess, for people to be able to like camp inside of the zoo. So you bring a tent, sleeping bag, blow up mattress, whatever you want, and you can literally sleep in the zoo with the animals. Not like with, with the animals, obviously, but you know what I mean. So that's what I'm doing tonight. Should be interesting. I'm for sure gonna try to get some footage there. But I'm just worried because it's so hot. Like, it's so hot. It's in the hundreds. And I'm like, ooh. They, like, lock you in at, I think, 5.30. And you're locked in until, like, 9 o'clock the next morning. So it's... I'm excited. But also, ugh, this heat. So I'm going to pack up my stuff, go get my nails done, head home, and figure out what I need to bring for my sleepover at the zoo. <laughs> All right, we just got to the zoo, and we're going to try to find our campsite pop our tent, people are setting up. is all set up. You camping? <laughs> Came I know, I'm terrified. I think he's more terrified. Poor baby, that was like a little one. A oh, little, big. no, a little like a little area for him to be. Look at this big old area. He's on time out. Flamingos. Yeah, they can't let him over here. <laughs> no, I know. Nina, look at it. Whoa. What is that? I think they're flamingos, because look at their legs. Whoa. Oh, yeah, the flamingos got black underneath their wings. Ooh. Can they fly? Ooh. Can you throw? Come here. 
Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Stay up there, Charlie. There you, go. Oh. you see them? Um, right right are they stuck? No, they're just getting some cool water. I'll try the coldest water they can get. Yeah. Oh! They're picking up too high. No, you're okay. Are you kidding me right now? There's three of them. Look at, this one. Look at here, how cute. Right there, look at Yes. He totally is. Three, four, five, six. There's another one here. Oh, that one just pooped. That one's right. Which one, one just pooped? This one over here. <laughs> Which one? Who is this guy over here? Wait. One, two, three, four, back there. Charlie, that one looks like you. It's a hi. Yeah. Hey. What did I do? They're like, let me out. Let me out. I want an ant eater. It's like a horse. It oh my god. It looks like a skunk horse. A skunk, skunk horse. horse? It is a skunk right. horse, Charlie. You got it right. Our enrichment. Oh. And it keeps the animals engaged with that? their wild <laughs> nature, right? You know, like if it's a cat, they like to use their jaw muscles. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is pretty big. And this was in the lion's enclosure. Ooh. So you can see how, oh man. You know, the lion can, could do this to such a big ball because you gotta have a big jaw. Yeah. That one over there was the jaguars. Wow. And the jaguar skull is near it. Here we are on safari. I'm stalking the elusive silverback gorilla of Northern California. Let's see if we can see it in its natural habitat. So Charlie is a great horned owl and these animals have some amazing adaptations to live at night. Now, you know, we all think of owls as strictly nocturnal animals. And that's true for most animals. Of course, we know that nocturnal means they sleep during the daytime and they come out at, at night to hunt. Uh, do you mean our gators? This little one? Ronnie, uh, he cannot live with the big gators on the lake. They will eat him. Um, gators, yes, will eat each other or other smaller gators. Well, oh, look at that. Okay, we're in the tent. Charlie and Christina went to the bathroom, so we're just going to get set up and hit the hay. Maybe we have another snack. Not another. This is my first. I brought some snacks. All right, I'm going to get set up. the longest day ever it is eight o'clock at night right now and I'm just now getting around to pulling the camera out again well, I got home with cash probably around 8 30 this morning took a shower ate breakfast and knocked out I was so tired still am and I've just felt kind of like drained all day so when I woke up around like one o'clock I kind of organized my closet a little bit and then I thought to myself I want to go to Sprouts. So I went to Sprouts and I thought I'd do a little grocery haul with you guys and then end the vlog because I just want to wrap it up and get it uploaded. So I was going just for a few things and of course I got three bags worth of things. So let's show you what I got. So the first thing I got is just some tortilla chips. These are just the Sprouts brand one. We ran out of tortilla chips and Carlos made some really good salsa the other night so I wanted to have some. Then I got these adorable little individual brie cheeses. They're only 70 calories each and they're individually packaged, so I thought that would be good for work. I got some cherries. I absolutely love cherries. They're one of my favorite fruits, so I got a little bag of those. Also, I got this huge thing of strawberries because they were on sale for like $2.90 something, so I could not pass up that deal love strawberries also i feel like i just love fruit in general so um i also got this suja juice the mighty dozen cold pressed it has apple celery cucumber kale and collard greens and it's only 80 calories for this whole bottle 
I saw someone on YouTube talking about this, so I wanted to try it. Another YouTube recommendation, I watch Bebe Hey, Hey Bebe Hey, um, on YouTube, and she always, like almost every morning, has this Forager organic dairy-free cashew milk yogurt in the flavor plain, and I kinda wanna try it. She makes yogurt bowls, and every time I see her pouring this out, it's super liquidy, so I'm a little worried, but I figured I would just get a little one to try. Then the lady was putting out some fresh rotisserie chickens, so I got one of those. I got my favorite granola of all time, which is the Nature's Path Organic Coconut and Cashew Butter Granola. You guys, when I say this is so bomb, like, I tell no lies. So I got two of them. I also got a loaf of sourdough bread. I love making avocado toast in the mornings on sourdough. I got some mushrooms because I have a couple bell peppers, so I'm gonna probably saute some bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms for a dinner or meal prep this week. I got another juice because this one only was 35 calories and it's the cold pressed greens, cucumber, celery, spinach, monk fruit, and lemon. Okay, and then the last thing I got was some sushi. Um, I'm gonna eat this tonight for dinner. That's why I got it. Originally, I was gonna do veggies and then some of this rotisserie chicken, but I saw that young man back there whipping up the sushi and I just couldn't pass on it. I got the spicy pepper roll and it's just veggies. There's no fish in this roll, which is not typically my type of roll, but I kinda wanted to try it. Um, and it's 250 calories for the whole thing. I love sprouts. They have calories on everything, and I am here for it. So I might do this roll with some of this like rotisserie chicken just for extra protein on the side. I think that's gonna be my dinner. I think I have 400 calories left for the day. Um, so I think that sounds like a really good dinner. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If so, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And do not forget, to follow me on Instagram. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the night, morning, daytime, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.